If buying a home is on your mind, then we bet you are not just looking for that perfect home, but also for that perfect home loan. And to make your choice a bit easier, we have with us Harsh Rungta, investment advisor and founder of HarshRungta.com. Welcome to the show, Mr. Rungta. It's a real pleasure. Okay, let's just jump into it straight away. Uh, one thing that I really want you to clarify to our viewers is the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana. And we've always known that the government has tried to enable the LIG customers at least to buy the home through uh, various uh, schemes. But how is government expanding that entire radius and trying to bring in the more middle income group as well? So I think uh, they've now from 1st January 2017, they have come out with the Prime Minister's Avas Yojana, MIG. Within MIG, there are two groups. Uh, MIG 1, where the gross household income is between 6 lakhs and 9 lakhs. Uh, I'm sorry, between 6 lakhs and 12 lakhs. And MIG 2, where the household income is between 12 lakhs and 18 lakhs. Uh, I think this MIG uh, scheme has been designed with a huge amount of thought to keep it very practical. Let me tell you some of the things that they have done, which is different from the LIG scheme. First of all, the definition of household is husband, wife and dependent children. If your unmarried child is independent, he is not included in your household. So he can have a household of his own. He can be eligible for a separate subsidy completely of his own. Uh, or if he is owning a house, you are not affected uh, by it. Uh, so I think first of all is the household definition. The second big change that has been made is that it is not just builders under construction projects uh, that have been approved under the PMAY is uh, allowed. Resale flats have clearly been included. So I think that's a huge change. I mean, availability of flats itself was a restriction as far as the uh, LIG uh, uh, flats are concerned. The uh, third uh, big change is the uh, is the uh, area. Uh, for MIG one, the area is as high as 90 square meters. 90 square meters uh, is almost equivalent to about 980 odd square feet. This is carpet area. So if you talk Bombay lingo, you're talking 1500 square feet sellable area. I mean. Uh, for the MIG2, which is the household income between 12 and 1800, it's 11, 110 square meters, roughly 1200 square feet carpet, 1800 in Bombay lingo. So all flats are covered. There is no... It's fairly big size. It's fairly big flats. Uh, because the income, uh, household income level is so high, as long as the household does not own any pakka house anywhere in India, it will be eligible for this subsidy. The subsidy is available through your home loan lending institution. It will come and it will get credited to your loan account. So your loan will fall by that much. Your EMI will therefore fall by that much. Very, very easy, simple to administer. Almost every lending institution is now part of okay. MAI. While taking a loan, if you are eligible, okay. uh, make sure that the lending institution is registered under PMAY and is going to make that claim on your behalf. Absolutely, I that's an important point. But uh, also, uh, if you talk about a first-time uh, home loan uh, borrower, uh, what are the things he can do to bring down his cost? You know, uh, Are there any suggestions? So I think, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the biggest cost that can be brought down is getting ten, almost uh, two lakh thirty thousand as a subsidy from PMAY. So if you are eligible, make sure your lender is there. Uh, I think there is a lot of focus on lending rates now. Lending rates roughly around eight and a half percent, give or take five ten basis points, fifteen basis points. Uh, it really won't matter. So spending too much energy in trying to okay. get eight and a half. Uh, more or less, I think does not make sense. Okay. Instead of that, what you should look at, once you have identified your property, other things remaining the same, look for lenders who have already funded in that project, in that society, because then your disbursement process would be simple. Okay. Uh, second, between, if again, other things remaining the same, uh, if you are choosing between a bank or a housing finance company, choose a bank and it is very confusing 
people think HDFC is a bank. It's actually a uh, housing finance company. So a little bit research is required from the customer side as well. So do uh, do that, uh, viewers. But uh, one more thing. Tax benefits, you know, we all want to know about that. How can, uh, what sort of tax benefit uh, are we looking at? So tax benefit uh, are a little complicated, but if I was to simplify, I would say uh, that interest up to 2 lakhs, it's not exactly like that, but interest up to 2 lakhs on a self-occupied property is available as a deduction. The principal portion that you pay can be clubbed along with your other payments such as life insurance, public provident fund, ELSS, etc. and is eligible for the uh, one and a half lakh limit. If the property is rented out, the terms are different, the rental is taxable, the interest is deductible without limits, but uh, recently a uh, uh, limit, overall limit has been bought in. Uh, so I would not okay. uh, like to confuse uh, viewers. If you have more than one property, consult your tax advisor. Absolutely, and that's always a good thing to do. Do consult your tax advisor and keep a check on your documents as well. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, Mr. Rungta, and Thank for you. all those tips.